best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. Welcome to the Bella Entertainment and HDNet's Broadway Boxing. Presented by Mohegan Sun from the Grand Ballroom at Manhattan Center. Tonight's fights are promoted by Debella Entertainment and sponsored by HBO Sports, LocateStock.com, and Punch. This bout is sanctioned by the New York State Athletic Commission chairman in attendance tonight, Ron Scott Stevens. The three judges scoring this bout on the 10-point must system, Matt Ruggiero, Larry Hazard Jr., and Robin Taylor. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action, Randy Newman. And now, six rounds of boxing in the junior middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he's wearing red, weighing in officially at 151 pounds. His professional record consists of four wins and one loss, one win coming by way of knockout from Akron, Ohio. Anthony Little. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He's wearing black and white trunks, lined with silver, weighing in officially at 151 pounds. His professional record, perfect. With five wins, three coming by way of knockout from Winter Haven, Florida. 2004 Olympian, uh, Andre Berto. Hey, gentlemen, you're both familiar with the rules we've gone over. We want you to remember two things. I want you to obey my commands, and most importantly, defend yourselves at all times. Now shake hands and come out of the bell. Good luck, fellas. All right, Andre Berto, and he is fighting Anthony Little. And when Little looks across the ring, he sees a young man that at 151 pounds looks like Hercules. <laughs> this kid is very well put together and undefeated. This one in the junior middleweight division scheduled for six rounds. Berto has a pair of hands on him that's like lightning. Fast, quick, and sharp. And this Anthony Little has a lot of amateur experience. Actually, Little can actually match Berto in the amateur um, category there with the exception of the Olympics. Yeah, Berto fought for Haiti in the Olympics. He should have fought for the United States, but there was a mess. He beat a fighter named Juan McPherson. He got disqualified. They went. They, there was a complaint. They went to court. It was overturned. It was a long story. But anyway, he should have represented the U.S. He didn't. He represented Haiti. Lost in an early round, but nonetheless is considered at least as good as any other prospect from the class of 2004. And I've just seen that Olympic about that he lost. which is a French guy. That was 6'3". And he just peppered, 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 and used his legs to stay away from Berto. Berto with that two by four type jab. He just explodes when he punches Ryan. All right. Right hand getting in. Double left hook. A little tight right now for me. Relax a little bit more. Let the punches flow better. First round. I mean, he has a lot of pressure on him right now. You know, Damon Dash, um, his co-promoter, Lou DeBella's promoter, they want to step him up after this performance. And on top of that, they put, you know, Tracy McGrady, Houston, Rock is um, guard here to see him. They're real good friends. Looks like Berto's main line of defense is just blocking punches instead of moving his head. And he's doing a nice hard. job of blocking punches. Yeah, Little has not been able to get that jab in at all. And that's the one criticism I have on Berto. Um, in amateurs, you know, you have to stand straight up and you have to block more. Whereas a pro, you can be a little bit more flexible 
haven't been at the waist. So you're saying he doesn't bend at the waist enough? Not yet. He hasn't really developed that, you know, as a professional as a kid. He likes to catch the punches, you know, pick them off, and then try to counter them. All right, go punch, step up. Double jab by Little, steps off. Little, you can see the experience managing to get through this first round by using tight defense. But round one belongs to Little. Round two scheduled for six in the junior middleweight division. Andre Berto and the Dark Trunks. Anthony Little in the red. Berto very aggressive in the first round. Little having to rely on his defense to stay out of hot water. And Berto's confronting Little. He's talking to him. He's gesturing to him. He wants Little to open up. Physically, Andre just looks so much stronger. Than him. He's walking him down in his early. Ironically, they both weighed in at 151 pounds. Look, Berto just took a body shot and just pushed Little right off of him. But physically, he just looks so much stronger. Yeah, and he's pushing his man when he has to. But I haven't seen a combination that I've grown to love from Andre Berto. His trainer, Tony Morgan, said he wanted rounds out of Berto. He didn't want a quick knockout. Now, I don't know if Berto's adjusting his style accordingly, but right now he's getting rounds. Rolling up a little too much. Nice right hand gets in. Little tries to answer back with the right hand of his own. punch, get out. Berto just so much stronger than Anthony Little. Yeah, huge difference in punching power. You see when, when Berto lands a shot, whether it's on the shoulder or whatever, he moves his guy. You see that Little just moves a little bit backward to the side. And Little's landing shots and Berto's not moving. He's moving forward. <laughs> not good <laughs> for Little, anyway. Second round scheduled for six. Junior middleweight division, Anthony Little. Takes a tough shot there from Berto. I want to see one five punch combination from Berto. Now Berto's starting to get loose a little bit here in the second round. Using that jab. Berto certainly has a different style than the other two Andres. Andre Ward and Andre Durrell, gold medal and silver medal winners at the Olympics. They are more fluid, tall, quick guys. Berto's more of a professional style walk-in. Nice left hook. I think he shook Little up a little with that left hook. Yeah, Little is a little wobbly now. Let's see if he can get out of this round. Little's never been down as a pro in his five fights. Round number three scheduled for six in the junior middleweight division. Andre Berto in the dark trunks and Anthony Little in red. 28 of Berto's 32 connects are power shots in round two. Only four of 38 jabs. See, I, I like to see the opposite. I like to see more jabs landing as opposed to the power punches. <laughs> Yeah, we'll actually show that he's in rhythm, that he's working. Brian, does it bother you at all that Berto keeps his left hand so low? Yeah. I mean, a lot of things right now would bother me about Andre Berto only because I know work the skill level that he's on. Out, go. You know, in whacking guys out early in his career, sometimes he can get in bad habits. What you can get away with against one fighter, you can't get away with against another. I agree. You know, though, you can win a fight easy, you can look bad doing it. Right. Now, they're 
Roberto switched to southpaw just for a second. It's almost like he's bored in there right now. I speak about that all the time about young fighters, focus, staying disciplined for the entire um, fight. Ooh, beautiful uppercut. But no left hook behind it. That's right. One and done for Berto. All right, you're tied, you're tied, don't punch, get up. And Anthony Little showing all that amateur experience just to be able to stay in the ring with this very powerful young man, Andre Berto, for three rounds. Ooh, those left hooks are gruesome. I think he really hurt him with that body shot. I think he hurt us with that body Ooh. shot. <laughs> Alberto closing the gap. Looks like it may be a matter of time for Anthony Little. There's another left hook to the body. Yeah, he's not going to take a lot more of those, Gus. Little looks like he's in round 14 right now. Oh, beautiful left hook. Another double left hook, right hand, little in trouble. Trying to roll, using some of that amateur experience, and he pivots off the rope. Berto should go back down to the body. But uh, Little may have nothing left. Yeah, nothing is another statement. He can barely punch. There's a left hook getting through behind the guard of Little. 12 seconds to go in the third round. Berto needs to finish. When you start showboating and you don't take your guy out of there, you start to look bad. All right, round number four, scheduled for six in the junior middleweight division. Andre Berto in the dark trunks along with Anthony Little in the red. Berto outlanded Little 23 to three in the third round. Most of them power shots. Berto is connected on 31% of his punches. Only 11 for all right, Little. All right, all right. Stop fighting me. Time out. Come here. Come here. Go. Tonight's CompuBox stats are brought to you by LocateStock.com, the pioneer in electronic stock locates. There's the up jab by Berto. Just now, got his hands high. Maybe looking to finish Little as he backs him in the corner and Little wisely gets out of the corner. Little shoe shine there for Berto. Missing with the left hook at the end. Berto could be much more effective than moving lateral if he get on the ball of his back foot. He's a little flat-footed on his right foot. So it makes it a little harder when you try to move just like that. You get tied up. Oh, beautiful left hook. Sends a mouthpiece out. And that's Little losing his mouthpiece. You never want a left hook, a left hooker. <laughs> that's what they say. And Little made the mistake. And here's the punch, Gus. Wow, what a beautiful counter left hook. It was a short punch. He didn't even have full leverage, and look at the result. Now, Berto, you sense that he wants to finish this one right here. You need to touch the body. Those left hooks to the body have been devastating. I think he just heard him. He was short up to the chest area. Oh. Cutting the ring off. Nice, I like that. Ooh. Another left hook. Little doing everything he can to just stay on his feet. Survival mode, huh? Boy, he's a, he's tough, but what would you expect from a Marine? Berto's punches just have such bad intentions on them. Uppercut. Little answers with an uppercut, but gets decked with a short left hook. Nothing on Little's punches right now. But he's wise enough to step off. To buy time. 30 seconds to go. In the fourth. I think it's a matter of time, uh, of time guys. Let him go. Hands off there. Hands off.
Birdo pouring it on. Little ties him up and makes it out of the round. Round five scheduled for six in the junior middleweight division. Andre Berto in the dark trunks fighting Anthony Little in red. And gentlemen, how do you have the fight scored? Well, as those uh, copy box numbers would suggest, Berto is dominating this fight. He's won every round, and it's just a question of if you want to give him any 10 8 rounds. Yeah, I'm actually looking at Steve's um, scorecard, so that's how I'm scoring my fight. I have a feeling this may be the round that Birdo really tries to go after Little and end this fight. Well, the referee between rounds four and five, Randy Newman, went to Little's corner to make sure that it was a good idea that Little come out for round five. I didn't think he would come out. Yeah, he's got a lot of heart. He certainly would have been uh, excused if he didn't come out, but he's he's tough, Marine tough. As he is certainly taking a beating this evening. Alberto has it. There's a left hook to nice the body. Nice left hook to the body. That's where he should stay. Every time little touch, little touches the ropes, dig that left hook downstairs, just like that. Alberto's mouth open. That's not a good idea. Right uppercut landing hurt. Little another right uppercut. Little in trouble. Berto just chopping wood on Anthony Little. And not one body, body shot in that sequence, though. That's why Little was able to, to survive that onslaught. Still a minute and 14 to go in the fifth round. Scheduled for six. Little is out on his feet in the center of the ring. Nice adjustment by Berto. Little bending over a little bit, bobbing and weaving at times, and Berto throwing uppercuts. Berto just waiting for one big shot. Right hand gets through. And nothing comes back from Little. All right, let him go. Let him go. I'll hug him. Ooh. He's just missing with that. Uppercut. Yeah, he certainly is. Now he just moves his hands on the ropes. Little backing up again, missing with the wild left hook. I would be surprised if he came out for the sixth round. If he does, it means his trainer is braver than the fighter. Exactly, because he's a Marine. He's going to keep coming. Yes, he is, and he shouldn't. Berto actually. As Little loses his mouthpiece again, another crackling right hand. The sixth and final round between Andre Berto in the dark trunks and Anthony Little in the red. And Berto has controlled this fight from start to finish. Little has never been stopped. He's from Akron, Ohio, and he's trying to maintain that streak. Well, let me touch on the last statement you made regarding um, armed forces, boxers and armed forces. I remember um, an, a former Olympian, Anthony Hembrick, he fought Booker T. Word. He was out on his feet. The referee asked him, are you all right? He said, I feel like a champ. And he couldn't even stand up straight. <laughs> well, for little three and a half months in Iraq, something tells me that's tougher right, than well, tired, 18 minutes with uh, Andre Berto. Oh, definitely. Now, two soldiers are dying at what? Two soldiers per day. Yeah. Break, break. A minute into the sixth and final round. Berto. Oh, what an uppercut. He finally landed with an overhand right. Anthony Little is ready to go. Left hook to the body. Little trying to tie up Berto, dead on his feet. Can he get through this a minute and 37 seconds? Little, deep in the corner now. Not a hot, he's dead on his feet. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry, he's stop this fight. Round. And Randy Newman elects call. to stop it. That's a good call. Andre Berto improves to 6-0.
stopping Anthony Little in the sixth and final round. Referee Randy Newman stops the fight. The winner by way of technical knockout, Andre Berto. So Andre Berto keeps his record perfect 6-0, and and Anthony Little falls to 4-2. and And the former Olympian, very impressive, took his time.